Noguera, Velasquez, UFC 110. Check your local listings. Thank you, and uh, it's great to be back in the UFC. Uh, last time I fought was UFC 38, so it's been a while. But uh, Elvis and I fought, you know, back in, uh, I think, 97, something like that. And, and uh, I guess with the UFC coming to Australia, there's no better opportunity to have a rematch. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it, and it's been a great lead up to the fight. Um, I train well, I feel good, and I'm ready to go. So thank you, and thank you for the UFC, and uh, I look forward to it. Thanks. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to the UFC for giving me this opportunity. Um, I've been with the UFC for years. Um, they're the premier mixed martial arts organisation in the world. And we here in Sydney are very lucky to have them here. So thank you very much for coming out to our beautiful city. Um, as Chris mentioned, this is a rematch from years ago. But today, we're two different fighters. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a new match. And I'm looking forward to a great challenge. I know Chris has trained hard. I've trained hard. And I'm looking forward to competing here in the UFC, in Sydney, um, the greatest sport in the greatest city in the world, UFC Sydney 110. Thank you, guys. Good morning. I'd like to thank the UFC for the um, privilege and opportunity of fighting in their event. It really is the um, premier mixed martial arts event on the planet. Um, they're really you know, helping the sport grow, grow globally, and um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm really looking forward to this match. Um, you know, I've gone... I've gone, um, I've gone five straight wins in my last five matches. I've submitted all my opponents, and um, you know I'm, I'm four and zero in the UFC, and looking to make it five on Sunday. <coughs> um, I've trained very hard for this fight. I'm ready. I worked very, very hard. I did everything I could. I've exhausted myself, trained myself very, very hard, and um, I'm looking forward to fighting Joe, who's a he's previously fought for a he's challenged the the champion. So it's a, it's a privilege to fight a guy of his caliber and I'm looking forward to fighting him on Sunday. Thank you. You know, it's amazing to actually be here at a press conference in Sydney, you know, at USC 110. When you look back in the, in the 90s, there was nothing here and I'm sure Alice will agree that, you know, we had to travel overseas and, you know, like I said, most of the learning I was done was taught, you know, in the dressing rooms before a fight, you know, getting with some of the famous fighters and, you know, just getting a quick you know, lesson or two. So it's amazing to be here now and not only is it how quick, you know, or how big it's grown, it's really how quick it's grown in Australia. Everyone's talking about it. Yeah, no, absolutely. As Chris mentioned, we we were learning. Um, every step of the way we were trailblazing. Um, we were taking things from different sports. We, we, we had to learn and investigate because there was nothing before us. And that was one of the, the really interesting things is you would take something from somewhere else and then try and apply it, then you'd have to evolve it to make it your own. And you can really see that develop in, in mixed martial arts. We now have a lot more of our own training programs, conditioning programs. We now have mixed martial arts coaches, whereas back in the day I'd go to a kickboxing coach, then I'd go to another wrestling coach, and then I'd go to a boxing coach, and they'd all want you to do things their way. But it, it just it didn't happen that way. And then it's the same with the rules. Um, back in the early days, every promotion had their own rules. Um, every promoter had their own way of promoting the fights or doing things. Now we have consistency. Um, we have consistent rules and commissions across the board. We now have rounds and doctors um, and everyone looking after you. We have the press here, which, you know, back in the day, we probably had a, two guys sitting there, you know, who were writing for an internet site, whereas you know, we've got the full Australian press here, and deservedly, because we have the greatest fighters in the world, some of the greatest athletes in the world, in the best organisation in the world. So it really has been an amazing transition to watch, and I just feel honoured to have been a part of it. Um, I don't feel no more pressure than I normally do when I go into a fight. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to be fighting in Australia uh, on an event of this calibre. Because um, when I left here, my last fight was on a very, you know, on a small show in front of a small amount of people, and you know, I, I, when I left, I didn't foresee myself fighting an event in Australia this caliber. So you know, it's, I'm just excited to fight here, but no more pressure than I normally feel. I've trained very hard, and I've exhausted my body, mind, and soul, and done everything I can to to prepare myself for this fight. So I feel very confident. Noguera, 
Velasquez. UFC 110. Check your local listings.